And good afternoon, I'm Mike Brooks. I'm Kara Morrison with the latest in Green Country. Tonight, a family's in mourning after a 13-year-old accidentally killed himself. Police were called to a shooting at the Savannah Landing Apartments here, 61st and South Peoria on Sunday. When they arrived, they found the 13-year-old boy. They determined the teen brought a gun to a friend's home where he took out the magazine, but there was still a round in the chamber. That gun went off when he pulled the trigger. Collinsville is rolling out a new program to cut back on accidental 911 calls. 911 Aware is set to launch in early January. Just donate a disconnected cell phone to the Collinsville Police Department and they will replace it with an educational toy phone. They're hoping this will reduce the 911 calls made by children who play with the disconnected cell phone. Those donated phones will go to a domestic violence shelter to help abuse victims. Paying a credit card bill late will likely get a little more expensive in the new year. Late fees are expected to hit $40 in 2020. Starting January 1st, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau will raise the maximum for credit card late fees by $1. Card issuers have to give cardholders, though, at least 45 days notice. Governor Kevin Stitt is going to have to pay up on the wager he made with the governor of Louisiana over the Peach Bowl. Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards bet some Tony's seafood in exchange for an Oklahoma ribeye steak. LSU took the win 63 to 28 on Saturday, so Governor Stitt will be sending some steak to Louisiana. Now let's uh, check in with meteorologist Brandon Woolley, who's got your forecast. And Mike, with that uh, broken arrow tornado, week one on Saturday, now the count is up to 147 tornadoes this year in the state of Oklahoma. Take a look at 1999, 145, so a record year for sure. By early tomorrow morning at 27 degrees, clear and cold conditions across all of northeast Oklahoma. Westerly winds between about 10 and 15. Take a look at those wind chills going even lower overnight tonight through early tomorrow morning. For tomorrow morning at 7, the feels like temperature in Pryor at 23. The same there in Tulsa, 22 in Bartlesville and in Oak Mulgee starting to recover by the afternoon with warmer temperatures on the way. 52 degrees tomorrow afternoon, mainly sunny skies. Westerly winds will be continuing for green country. All right, thanks, Brandon. We'll keep up with today's news on our app and website and look for live coverage during our regular news at 5 and 6 o'clock. We, of course, will bring you another update right here at 730.